Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Couch Talk with Siri, where I have the pleasure of speaking with the Queen tonight. Welcome, Queen. Welcome, Siri. How are you? <laughs> Happy to be here. Okay, we're going to jump right into it because this is long-awaited conversation, lady. Okay. So, first of all, let me say, it is an honor and a pleasure to speak to the queen, the only woman for, I mean, two-time winner. The, I mean, you have laid the groundwork for so many people, including myself. You know, we could have been a dynamic duo, not that you needed my help, but anyway, I, it's just a pleasure. And I want to give you all your flowers, all the respect that is due. You are the queen. You are the queen. You know how much the fans are waiting for the day when we can work together? I, because I think me oh. and you have a similar way of playing the game mm -hmm. and um you know I, I hate that in heroes versus villains we didn't get to play together and then in game changers our path didn't cross, cross either. At so all. I don't know why the stars have a line to where me and you could be at the same place at the same time and totally miss each other but never count it out. You never know what's down the pipe. It may be something coming soon. And I you am need to all... hook me up with Snake Snake in the Grass if they're going to do a second season. Listen, as soon as this is finished, I'm going to send them your email and y'all work it out. Okay? Okay. I got you. <laughs> you know what's so funny? You embody something that I don't have, right? And I think we would have complimented each other because you have that unapologetically me confidence about yourself and I'm always apologizing, <laughs> right? Well, you know what they say, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. And with the game of Survivor, I I think I, bet I play better when I'm always the underdog and always scratching and clawing uh, to get to the top versus when I play a strong game, like, okay, I'm here and I'm gonna do what I have to do. And then they come after me. But with Survivor, I think the best strategy is always to go with the flow because every game is different. Every location is different. Right. The type of game you're playing, the people you're playing with, the advantages and everything that's thrown at you. So there's no perfect way to play the game. You just have to be able to roll with the punches. And I'm glad that I got the opportunity to do Australian Survivor. My right. brace is jamming me up over that's here. That's okay. That's okay. I saw um, when you got it. <laughs> Okay. I'm glad that I got the opportunity to do Australian Survivor because I felt it was the redemption to my debacle in Winners at War. Okay, um, okay. To where it was the very first time ever in Winners at War that I played with my heart. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. That's my downfall. And that is not me, you but you that. evolve. You right. have relationships outside of the game that last years. Right. Uh, you have respect for the players. You don't want to like do anybody dirty because you know there's more than just the game itself. You know what I'm saying? There's Correct. the outside world and the relationships that we have as survivors uh, with each other. Sometimes right. we're tighter with survivors than we are with our own families. Exactly. And um, exactly. But you know, people say, Sandra, what I got to do to win? Listen, there's no A, B, C. Do this, and then you'll get to the end and win the game. It's just you have to go with the flow and every season is different. That's what I always say. That's excellent. That was actually one of my questions. I actually wrote down questions when I knew the queen was coming. Oh, so Lord. if you don't mind, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm going to read. So what do you think of the new faster concept in the shorter amount of days? With 26 days, I think I could play a game like that. Let me turn this off. Oh, it's my Where's watch. It? Ever since... <laughs> my family's going to keep calling me all day no about worries. these tickets um I like the 26 days because being out there for 39 days I'd rather suffer for 26 versus 39 agree um and not that I don't want to take away from anyone because I know I heard that they were starving worse than ever before you know what I'm wow. saying like the mm -hmm. uh the game was a faster paced game they had to keep doing things every single day but I like the 39 days because I think that, you know, it gives you time to breathe and time to really gather your thoughts and take it one day at a time and continue to build the relationship that sometimes you can't build right. in 26 days, right. you know, because you only got 26 days. Every day is numbered and every minute counts. So 
I like the 39 days better. Right. But as a player, if I only had 26 so days right. to play, I'd be like, okay, the hell with it. I'm going to do whatever I got to do <laughs> 26 days and save myself 13 days of misery, hunger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like stress. You know. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I don't see, I'd have to talk to someone that has played both 39 and 26, 26. Correct. to really get the gist of what they go through because we don't know everything that they did on 20, right. you know, right. and, and some people we say, well, shit, you only play for 26 days. You ain't on real survivor, but right. they were on real survivor. So. <laughs> you know, it also gives you more time to scramble if you need to, especially like you said, playing in the underdog position. 26 days is fast. You may be out before you even get a chance to get anything rolling. So I agree with you. I, although it's terrible suffering and a longer time, I would play the 39 days myself again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's so many times when you need to like decompress and you need to just think it out and you right. need, and, and with 26 days, you're like, boom, boom, boom. Like, like that advantage that they had to do where they had to get a, a little stone off of each bracelet. The, the I was like, oh my God, would I, I have been able to do that? Would like, you? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's I think I would have given it a shot, but I don't know because that beware, we already know to beware. And I'm like, you know, my vote is so valuable. That was one of my questions. Would you go for the beware advantage? Sandra, come on. You know you're going to go. For, you want to see an advantage there and walk past it and leave it for somebody else? And that's the thing. You have to put it back, right? You can't destroy you can't it. Move, you, can't, you have to leave it where it's at if you don't take it. And you're telling me the queen is going to walk past an advantage and leave it? I think that I would have so much faith in my game that no matter what it was, I'm like, screw it. I know I could do it. And no matter what punishment came my way, if, if I wasn't able to, to accomplish my mission that I would be like, I know I could get out of any jam, but I go for it. The thing I was thinking about yesterday when I was talking to my daughter, I was like, but damn, so they lose their vote tribal council after tribal council after tribal council. Like, I don't know. I think it, I don't know. Is it? I don't think it's every tribal council. Once you get that advantage and you don't uh, perform whatever the duty is, I think it's just that tribal council. Don't quote me, but I don't think it's for all the tribal councils moving forward. I think it's just that one. Yeah, because one kid was talking about that he lost his vote, and then he was telling everyone in his tribe he was like, "You know, I already lost my vote." So right. when he lost his vote, it wasn't that episode. He's talking about losing his vote prior. Hold on. The mm -hmm. fans are going to have to correct me. <laughs> Let me tell you who this kid was. Um, Listen, you are the queen. Do what you need to do. Ash I should look at Because it's hard for me to remember all these names. Okay. Oh, no. Cast of 43 Survivor. It must be a movie named 43. <laughs> but I think maybe he didn't go to, maybe they won and didn't go to tribal council that time. Why his vote was uh, lost for uh, an extended period of time. It may have seemed like that, but I think it's because they didn't go to tribal. But I think once you lose your vote, it's only for the next tribal council that you go to. Um, okay, I'm Dwight was the one that mentioned it. And I had to catch up because I was in Cancun. So I had to like do all the episodes really, really fast. But <laughs> Dwight was talking about, well, you know, I don't have a vote, but right. he wasn't the one that went to tribal council. Right. So let me ask you this. Would you tell them? That you lost your vote? Or would you keep Hell that to no. yourself? <laughs> exactly. Hell no. And I wouldn't leave stuff in my bag. Right, right. Like, we all know the bag check happens, right? Yeah, like I would not leave stuff in my bag. Um, Yeah, no, 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 no. So, so yeah. So, but there's a lot of people playing this season. I'm right. glad I pulled up the cast thing because I don't know all their names. I usually don't, I don't know their names, names until they get deep into the game. I like James. I like Lily. I like many more, but like you said, I can't remember all the names right now. Um, yeah. So you did answer one of my questions. Would you risk your vote? So, you know, when they go up to that mountain, when they're selected to go on that boat ride, they get an opportunity, 50-50 chance. Would you take that chance? Because that's another out What everybody else was doing in mm -hmm. order to win myself an immunity idol. Right. Um, so I think... <laughs> Like the girl did this past time. She was telling everybody how she felt and everybody else was talking about how they felt. And they're like, okay, we're going to do this together. For and her. You know, yeah. Right. Because she so was in a bind. Safe. 
I'd have to read the room because I don't want to risk it and know, oh, you know, Sari's doing this and right. Tony's doing that. And <laughs> I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. I'd have to read the room, but all those new twists and turns got me like, damn, like, why can't I it know. be simple? Like, why does it have to be so hard? Now, let me ask you this. While you're watching, does it seem like idols and advantages are just hanging everywhere? Like, it's so easy to be found because... And it's not, it was never that easy. I never like walked up to a tree and there's an idol right there. Does it seem like they're placed in places that they can easily be found? I think they're in places where they can easily be found. I don't think there's a lot out there anymore because I think Survivor knows that the fans hate when there's 10 idols out there. Ta-da. Um, <laughs> but I do like the transparency of knowing where it's at and seeing somebody walk by it or somebody dig around and not see it. Right, right, um, right. Which happened in one of these past... See, I saw those episodes in one day, so I can't remember. The girl, That's the okay. idol was like right there. Right she there. Just, she walked right past it. Yeah. And I like to see that. Um, I'm glad they don't have that many idols. And... um, But yeah, they, they're going to be where we walk and everything else. It's not going to be any crazy... You know, we got lucky in Australia Survivor. They were like, look, it's not going to be anywhere that, where there's an animal that can bite you. <laughs> like, okay, well, that... <laughs> You know, that's easier, but it's still not easy to find them. You know, when you got a thousand trees around you. Right. Um, so you segued right into my next question. Which one was harder, American Survivor or Australian Survivor? Australian Survivor. Ooh, why? Tell us. I was older. <laughs> it's 47 days. Right. I was forced to participate in 13 out of 14 challenges where I feel like in the U.S. I can get away with sitting out, sitting out. and yeah. people just laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, but in Australian Survivor, it's about what you bring to the table. And if you don't participate in the challenges, they send you packing. You have wow. to show up. Okay. And, um, you know, when they look around like, who's the weakest woman here? Nobody was raising, <laughs> like, that's what right. they say. Who's the weakest woman in the tribe? Like, right. Not me. Exactly. <laughs> I was already one of the oldest ones, me and Kate, you know, like right. so Australian survivor by far. And then the challenges get harder Ugh. where I feel like in our survivor in the U S survivor, the challenges get easier, but in Australian seem. survivor, they get harder and harder and harder. Um, and so I felt like all the way around and in the location we were at, mm -hmm. nothing, it was like no food. Ugh. Um, it was so hot. I could feel my skin burning. I've never felt my skin burn. Wow. Um, Cause you know, they say in Australia and I didn't know this until I got out there that they have that ozone depletion and they have the highest rate of cancer. Um, so Sorry. all the way around, it was horrible. Wow. I mean, I love playing it because like I said, I felt like I needed that redemption after winners at war, mm -hmm. but all in all, it was not easy. It was mm. not easy, but I'm glad that I did it. Right. And a lot of the fans I lost along the way were like, damn, Sandra showed up for this one. Nice, nice. And they I were, saw you, know, you did. When they found out <laughs> that I was out there, they were like, oh, she's going to get voted out the minute she sits out. Well, guess what? I didn't sit out <laughs> till the end. Let them know. <laughs> yeah, so There's when I would read those you. comments, I was like, they're going to be shocked. Or like, Sandra <laughs> will be the first one voted out of her tribe, the first tribal council. And I'm thinking coming back mm -hmm. like oh won't you be surprised you know wow so because the minute I get my foot in the door you know mm -hmm. I, you know it's like when I make relationships and I make bonds with people it carries me through and that's something me and you have in common right, there's a lot right. of love for us out there right and we appreciate it I know I appreciate it I know you appreciate it um speaking of Australian survivor versus American survivor the fans are have their ear to the wall for this one would you play either one of those again given the opportunity no because there's so many australian and american survivors that are like top notch and i'm mm -hmm. not one of them um and i would hope that the americans can bring a strong team that could compete against these australians Wow, I, because I did recently read something about jeff may have, may have spoken about an international survivor game Obviously, you're a queen, you're a legend. 
they would have to invite you, right? And when you say that there are other survivor players that are top notch, that is absolutely correct. However, when you, when the fans and myself, when we think of the top notch survivor list, believe me, your name is in that list. So you may not be as athletically challenged as the rest of them, but you won twice, right? So yeah, top and notch I appreciate that. Like I know when it comes to my social game or my strategy, when I have to pull a rabbit out of the hat, um, but when it comes to when it comes to the U.S. versus the Australian, if it were to happen, I doubt it that it would happen on Jeff's end. I think it was is something that the Australians would definitely do. Like they're mm. bold and they're cutting edge and they're willing to throw down and bring the best of the best. If they even invited me, hell no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd be the first one voted out because it would be so intense. Right. It would be so intense that you'd have these six foot uh eight inch dudes going up like the no but like, they're going after the like like themselves right so they're going to come and they're going to want to take out the boston robs they're going to want to take out the challenge beasts because they want to show that they're the challenge beasts they are challenge beasts themselves so you may be able to do what you do throw away my <laughs> number i'll go mentor the team on either side but no i would never like I'm telling you, wow! you watch these people perform and they are the, you know, Australian Survivor likes to bring in their gold medalist Olympic people and their footy players and their uh, football yeah. and their, no, they bring, no, <laughs> forget me because no, I, I'm not going to go to be the first one voted out. And I'm right. telling you, it gets harder. It doesn't get easier. Wow. Um, no. <laughs> Sheree, even you won't want none of that if you go out there I'll be rooting for you but I'll be watching and let me tell you, it ain't gonna be easy uh, uh, no. you know I'm getting up there in age too so I you know I don't know I just have the adventure bug running through my veins so that leads me into my next question you did mention like snake in the grass but are there any other shows that you would be interested in playing like say Big Brother Amazing Race uh, how about those? Have you thought about that? Because I'm sure there I'm, may be a time you get a phone call. I'm a huge Big Brother fan, but I cannot be around messy people all day long. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, you know, look, I I was like, Sari, I didn't even brush my hair. <laughs> um, I appreciate so you messy. I think I'd probably be over there cleaning up behind everybody, and I just can't. And then it's like what a hundred days in the yeah. house in the big brother. Well, house? I think they, I think it was reduced to like seventy something or something like that. Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and, and and I love the Amazing Race, and I watch it faithfully. Me too. Um, but those challenges, and after watching all the survivors that have gone out there to play and still, you know, that were capable and right. could do everything and did everything right and still came out you know, a hot mess. I don't know. I, no. Cause look, I can't, I, I tell my kids if, if, or my husband, I was like, if we ever went to the amazing race and there was like a, you had to bungee jump. You have to push me. You have to push me. <laughs> See, I was I that. Doing it. I'm not doing it. Um, <laughs> and I hate to drive stick shift. I can, but I don't know why I hate it. Okay. Um, and of course they go to all these countries where all the cars are nothing but stick shift. So, so now just, you know you're definitely going to get a call after this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, goodness. like, I'd be following everybody. I'd be like, follow that one and follow that one. And wow. Mm -mm. So, anything you want to plug, anything you want, because I don't want to keep you. I know tonight is Survivor Night. I, I know you have things to do for your family before the show. Any upcoming events, anything? Yeah. You wanna... So, me and Fair Play are going to be in Nashville, Tennessee on October the 19th. Okay. Um, At the, I know it's a saloon, but let me look at what saloon it is. Okay. Look, all my last 10 pictures are flights, itineraries <laughs> that I'm mailing everybody. Um. I want to say it's the Doghouse Saloon. Okay. okay. You know, I was in Cancun. Oh, my God. We were in Cancun for 10 <laughs> days. I had such a good time. For how long? 10 days? 
Oh my god. It was an all inclusive. Wow. Uh, I had to grow up right there, four uh -huh. steps, the, the plunge, like you get into your own swimming pool. Wow. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you, okay? <laughs> And take 10 day Cancun vacations. And My husband deserved it. It was our real. Okay. So we were in Mexico in January, but he was still active duty. But this was our first vacation after he retired where he just said, baby, I just want to relax. I just want to chill. I don't want to have a schedule. I don't want to be, nice. on, you know, so he I just do that he, right now. <laughs> yeah. He went from the pool to the jacuzzi, to the hot tub. Like this man's <laughs> team was all, yeah. All nice. right, so on Wednesday, October the 19th, I'll be with Johnny Fairplay at the... Dang, I just saw it. I ain't even got... I need glasses. At <laughs> the Doghouse Saloon in Nashville, Nashville Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. Y'all yeah. hear okay. that, right? Go check her out. Yeah, and then the following month, on November 9th, I'll be with him at the Dirty Bull Brewing Company in Durham, North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. And I'm hoping Wendell will hit me up because he hit me up, but I was going to be in Cancun, so I couldn't do nothing with him. You hear that, Bryce? You hear that, Bryce and Wendell presents? Bring yeah. your girl out. If she comes yeah, out, you know I'm going to be out. I want to stay on the East Coast because it's a headache to fly like to L.A. and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. They don't need me in L.A. They got plenty of heavy hitters out there. <laughs> Well, but, yeah. I don't know if they got any heavy, any, any hitters as heavy as the queen. Uh, but my last question, and you kind of hit on it when we first started, if you were to give any tips to future survivor players, people who are trying to audition, what advice would you give to them? Uh, be flexible when you go out there, be yourself. You can't be phony. Um, you know, if you have that, that feeling in the pit of your stomach, that something is wrong, something is wrong yeah. um but when you get out there you have to you know you asked me about the advantages and stuff I guess you have to just take the bull by the horns and play the best game possible take risks because if you don't you're gonna regret it but definitely build relationships because no one person can win the game alone and right. you have to be in the majority to do that people have to like you so you can't go out there being an a-hole barking orders right. um and even when you feel weak or tired, I don't think that's something you should put on display out there. I twisted my ankle in Australia and I kept that. I was hush mouth. Right. Because the minute you tell someone else, it, everyone knows they Mouth wrap you out. Yeah. And like, I was just so determined to make it past day 16 that I didn't care if I was out there with a bum leg, you know? Right, right. Um, and, you know, I, I think when, when you finally step foot out there, you have to give it your all every single minute, every single second, every single day. Right. Because if you don't, you're going to come home and you're going to regret it, you know. And and with Australian Survivor, I would tell the people, like, we go to tribal council, everybody be quiet. And I'm like, this is the place where you have to let it be known. Say what you got to say. Put it on the table. You know, exactly. when you go on your interviews, why is your interview taking 10 minutes and mine is taking 30 minutes? Well, because I'm over there talking shit. Like, <laughs> you're going to get a purple edit and people are not going to know who you are until day 30 if you don't open your mouth and say something. Absolutely right. You know, so. Yeah. You hear this? tell it like it is. Y'all hear this? This is Jules dropping from the queen herself, Miss Sandra Diaz Twine. Thank you, thank you, thank you for blessing Couch Talk with Sari with your presence. You are welcome back anytime you want to co couch, anything you want to do, <laughs> when you want to do it, you just let me know. I appreciate you so much. God bless you and your family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending you a kiss Ari. and i'm <laughs> headed to connecticut on friday i know i'm going to ohio i told you yeah Dang. so we'll be again we'll be, we'll be missing you, each other rice and windows going to bring you out Guaranteed. yeah you better tell them they i'm better calling them as up. soon as i hang up the queen has <laughs> spoken okay all right take care thank you bye-bye sandra thank you so much no problem anytime for you anytime <laughs> all right that's excellent